pretend to talk before you know how you when you see shows and they're they're laughing oh, right, and, right, 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 right. and then yes, they yes, realize yes. the camera's, the camera's on, on. Yes. and then they go so and they go and oh they look hi welcome again. let's do that yes, yes, so yes. I went to the store and I bought eggs no way. milk no way. and then I went to the bookstore and they I don't ah. know <laughs> and I said to the man I said and, and and the guy walks into the bar and he says iced tea I ordered milk oh hi hi welcome to <laughs> Welcome to Francis von Zernick's head full of useless information about movies. Uh, we are, we just, this is the after show video. We just did the show with our guest, Marika, Marika hey. Ochman. <laughs> Ochman. Say your name? Marika Ochman. Marika Ochman. Yeah, that's good. Okay, all right. I try. I've known you for a little while and I still uh, narrow it down. And we have a new co host. Uh, and I did from now Monroe. on, Meredith Monroe, <laughs> the beautiful, uh, talented, and uh, uh, Meredith Monroe, and we just did the show and it went great. And uh, uh, you know, the premise of the show is uh, each week an actor, writer, director comes onto the show, and in this case, the, uh, a non-actor, writer, director, the most famous writer in yeah. the world, mm -hmm. yes. no, actor, yes. actor. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen me in movies such as. So Oh, I thought <laughs> you were going to explain something I thought she was going to list yeah. some, yes, yes. Um, but we, uh, the premise of the show is, uh, is, is somebody comes in and talks about ten movies that have most influenced them and why. Uh, to help form them. And, and we did the show, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but we didn't get to everything on the list. And I was going to say on this that we should pick one. Pick another one that we didn't do, but then I'm like drawn to your little descriptions. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. Return to Paradise is on your list that wasn't on the show. I'm not spoiling anything. But it says, Lewis being damaged, then killed, <laughs> Sheriff, um, oh, yeah. reassuring yeah. Beth. Yeah. I, uh, uh, I don't want to talk about it, but I found it interesting. <laughs> um, and look, American History X, Dad racist, both smart. Yeah. Explain. Yeah. Well, it's well, true. That's, you, you know, know why? Yeah, that's you know interesting why that's that you wrote that. Because for me, there's a lot of movies about, raci about racism. You know? uh -huh. But there's not... Because I think when I really think about the plot of that story, it's not that great. American to History be honest with you. Yeah. No, it's very simple. Yeah. And it goes back and, and forth. And it's like, really, yeah. it doesn't happen like that in, in real life. You don't no. go to school and write a book, Mein Kampf, and then, no. and then you get cheesy. this assignment. From, yeah. you know, yeah. But the film is, is still interesting, I think. It is, yeah. yeah. And even though the plot's very cheesy, like, oh, the white guy getting friends with the black guy, yeah. and then his white, yeah. white friends screwing him over. Yeah. Life does not work like that. You're right. No. And maybe that thing, those things happen, but not in but the clean. But still, it captured me. Yeah. That As, says you know, a lot. Opening yeah. Opening scene, instantly, you know, there's a lot of action going on, and you're Some captured. Horrible violence. Yeah. When he does that on the guy. Black and white, and then it's yeah. Instant, instant. Oh. No, but when he kicks, the, when I know, the guy. The oh, oh, right, I don't right, know if there's yeah. a name yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And they, they took that and they used that in the Sopranos, but that is insane. Um. What was I going to say? I was going to say something that I forgot. What do you... I don't know. What did you like, but what are you most drawn to in that movie? Uh, the, the, the the black and white footage or the color version? The color... The Edward Furlong story? No, the black and white. The, the, the Edward Furlong story. Yeah. Line. I uh, oh, no, the, uh, the, the uh, Edward Norton. Norton, Norton yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, Norton yeah. storyline. Li I'm a big Ed, Ed Furlong fan. I think uh -huh. he's fantastic, and he's very good in that. Uh -huh. um, and then now I'm looking at... Uh, well, it's really not that funny. I, it's not. But <laughs> Rabbit Hole is the least funny movie ever made. Yeah. By And what's that director's name? Uh, uh, Cameron Mitchell. John Cameron Mitchell, who did... Uh, did you see um, uh, 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 Hedwig and the Andrew Inge? Yes. Oh, I saw the play with uh, Ellie Sheedy. Did you see the play? Ellie Sheedy was Clint sobbing. Hedwig? Huh? Yes. She was getting so much flack for it. And I got to tell you, she was brilliant. Wow. Amazing. And my biggest regret, I saw her in an elevator in Toronto. And she was with her husband and her kids. And I wanted uh, so badly to say... <laughs> You were spectacular, and I didn't want to interrupt your family time, so I didn't. So, Ali Sheedy, if you're Allie listening, Sheedy, you rock, Hedwig. She's Hedwig. grown, like, but it's Amazing. funny because um, uh, uh, Dietrich. I keep talking about Dietrich, but uh, Dietrich uh, 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 Bader was on, and he had a good story because. All right, I'm going to say it. One of your movies is Harold and Maude, mm -hmm. 
and uh, uh, he that was on his list too. And he told a story about being in the elevator with the. Uh, um, I can't think of the actor's name. Uh, was it Donovan? Uh, uh, Donovan no, who no, played Donovan. Hedwig? Maybe? No, from it, Hedwig. no, from Held and Maude, the young kid. Oh, oh, I just sorry. can't think of his name. Everybody is watching and throwing bricks sorry. at the screen, but <laughs> that. And he he had an awkward moment with that actor oh, in an oh, elevator too. Oh. And now I'm talking about it out loud. This stuff okay. that happens in elevators. <laughs> this stuff, yeah. Um, uh, okay, uh, uh, girl interrupted. It is on here. Very it's a fantastic movie. Wants to be a writer and actor. Yeah, the voluntarily <coughs> thing was very interesting. To voluntarily, me. Who, okay. Who goes to? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah. Who does that? Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. It is interesting. Mm. Yeah. And I felt like, um, for her, I still felt like she was pressed by society again. Same as Into the Wild. Like, the pressure by society made her. Uh -huh turn herself into a clinic while well, even though she might actually she seem pretty sane to me you know yeah what is okay? We it's, we have to go because this, this is probably getting too long, and you, you want it, your fingers poised over the click button. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, what is a movie that very quickly? Uh, what is a movie that didn't make your list that almost made it? Natural Born ah, Killers. Yeah, I was expecting that. Yeah. Another Juliette yeah. list, ah, list movie. Yes. Wonderful. And she and we and and I was thinking about that because I knew about Natural Born Killers. Right. I don't like to know what's on the list, but I did know about that and Too Young to Die. Mm -hmm. I'm ruining the show, incidentally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Spoiler it's no, alert. it's not about the movies. It's what's said and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, 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 but that ethereal, and then and some of the other movies that we won't talk about that are on your list. Um, yeah, that you have to listen to the show. Them. Okay. Um, uh, 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 a feature like very ethere ethereal female characters who who are I like or male for that matter. For okay. me, it doesn't matter if it's female. Or okay, female. ethereal characters that yeah. otherworldly that kind of don't belong like a. a and yeah. I like this in there movies, milky yes, white characters right, right. with a dark black background yeah, and feel like they're different. Yes, yes, yeah. but. Effect, but it, 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 but affect everyone around them. Their yeah, people are yeah, drawn yeah, to exactly. them. Exactly. Like Travis yes. Pickle is like that, but he's the he has the yes. opposite effect on people. Right. Good text part. Right. Uh, and, and these are my favorite characters, but uh, but it's interesting. Juliette Lewis plays that character a lot. Mm -hmm. She plays, mm -hmm. she played that in um, uh, the Scorsese uh, picture, uh, the remake, uh, Night of the Hunter. Right. She plays that kind of ethereal young girl, mm -hmm. um, ethereal. And I don't know. What do you like about that? Um, I just think that's really <coughs> fascinating. If people stand out, and if if they do something different than everyone else. How do you think that is influenced you? These movies, these characters. Uh, it makes you think Tough twice question. about your your actions. I think it makes you realize that, hey, it's very easy to just fit in, but then my life's gonna be so mundane. Mm. Oh, okay. And if I want to. I don't like mundane, it's boring, and I don't like boring, I like change. Yeah. So, I try to think about... Not trouble. You not don't like trouble, I don't like trouble. I like change, though. So, I like to experience different things in life. And if I see the trouble side and the good side in movies, then the way I go through life makes, I don't know, it kind of like that combination, all those different angles that uh -huh. people have, makes you think twice about yourself and everyone around you. And that makes it more interesting, I think. And that's the power, I mean, we didn't get to it on the show, but uh, that's the power, I think that's why, the part of the, the partially the reason I do this, sh I, I like doing the show, I do the show, I mean, now, now we do the show, is because I don't think it should be or can be underestimated the power of movies uh, on so many different levels, but specifically how they can change our, how we interact with the world yeah. and take chances. For me, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a big guide. I mean, I like seeing a, a, the movie that's on your list. That you, that's, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, no, I, I just think like movies you can take as a guide. It's like here's an insight in other people's life, and then there's real life where you go out there and experience that. Mm -hmm. And so, if you start off watching some movies, you're a little bit better prepared for the real world, maybe. 
Yeah, and it can give you like these with these characters to do can give you permission to do other things in, in a way. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, for me, I, it's not I, like yeah. you're gonna end up at death row and kill people. I hope not. But I, for me, the most interesting thing about movies is getting an inside and other people's heads. Okay, yeah. all right. But those these movies, some of these movies on your list have ins not inspired. That's not the right word, but giving you okay, and you can correct you me, giving you permission something. to. Take more chances Maybe, in a yeah. way, like That's traveling. A... You've done a lot of traveling. Yeah. And do you think inspired? Okay, I'm going to use the word inspired. Have you think like seeing all this, like these different movies and it made I don't me, know, it just it curious. makes me curious. Okay. About yeah. yeah. And yeah. therefore, and then, but like I said, I changing your life guide, and then I want to really experience this because yes. in the end, it's just a movie, right? And real life. Yeah, yeah. And and that can be a dangerous thing. It has been in my case. It throughout my life, I, I it has led me down. I've allowed that to lead me down roads mm -hmm. that I probably should open doors that I probably shouldn't open. And luckily, I'm alive and, and I'm fine. But uh, but on the flip side of that, that can lead to extraordinarily beautiful things. Like yeah. you lived in uh, St. Bart's, was it St. Martin? St. Yeah. Martin for uh, over a year, or a year, and you learned to make the best effing cup of coffee there I've ever yes. had in my life. Yes. And you worked on a sailboat, and you, I mean. So you scuba instructor, scuba instructor, and yeah. now you've moved to America, and and you're you're and you're being already quite successful in your business, and you don't give up, and you you live life. It's, yeah, it's a, you've got your hand in in a little bit of everything. It's wonderful that it, you know you you when I think.